Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my third video of fall DIYs. I've been posting every Thursday at 6 p.m. and I really, really like how these came out. I love the color theme through all of them. So I have a whole bunch to share with you today and you'll have to comment down below. Let me know which one is your favorite. I am sorry if it sounds loud in the background between Mike being on calls for work, the neighbors getting their grass cut, the dogs barking. It's just been <laughs> really hard to get like just a quiet time to actually record this short intro let me know which one is your favorite and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it let's go ahead and get started for this one i'm taking four of these mirrors from dollar tree these are the 8 by 10 mirrors and they are the same ones that i used to create that seven foot tall mirror the dollar tree diy mirror it is the largest diy that i have ever made from dollar tree but a lot of you said you can't find these mirrors any longer in dollar tree so don't worry about that all you really need here are the frames and now I'm gonna spray paint the black frames with a smoky beige color. So I was kind of undecided here if I wanted to just use some chalk paint or spray paint and what color I wanted to do this. Sometimes I'm very indecisive. There's just so many options and I could think of so many ways that like certain colors or something, it's just gonna look good. So let me know what color would you make these frames. For now, I'm going with the smoky beige. I thought about like distressing it, making it look a little bit more antique. Although if you guys watched the last video that I did, I used a lot of wooden frames from Dollar Tree and you could actually use those same wooden frames to create this DIY. Anyway, I'm painting that and to reinforce the back, I'm gonna just use some of these jumbo craft sticks. These are from Walmart. You can get a whole big package of them for, I think it's $1.97 but if not, otherwise you can just get the jumbo popsicle craft sticks from Dollar Tree and use those. Basically, I'm just hot gluing them on for a little extra support on the back. Now let's move on for the next part of this DIY wall art, wall decor for fall. I'm going to take one of these half wreath rainbow frames. Now I already have one of these, but if you didn't have this, you could take um, the larger 18 inch wreath frame from Dollar Tree and then use some wire cutters and basically use half of the wreath frame and that should work fine. <laughs> so it would actually be cheaper because then you would get two of them for a dollar and this is just a one dollar rainbow frame but I'm going to go ahead and kind of repurpose it. We're not going to use it as a rainbow, but I have an idea here. So I wanted to just cover this with some ribbon to make it a little easier to glue flowers onto here. And I love this new green ribbon I found in Dollar Tree. They had some new colors, some new buffalo check ribbons this year, and also this kind of um, moss green color. I think it's just really pretty, really soft green, and just it's going to be so beautiful for summer and for fall decor. I have three varieties of flowers here in shades of beige, orange, and purple, and I've just got two bunches of each, and I'm going to just cut all those stems and hot glue them all the way on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach this now on top of the frames. I'm actually gonna tie it with a little bit of clear fishing line, which has a super great hold, and it will also be a way to do it without damaging. So if I wanna remove this, I have a perfectly good frame. It's not gonna damage the paint or anything. Now I do wanna add a little sign on here. I did find this wooden home sign in Dollar Tree. Oh my goodness, it might have been a year ago. I found one, I got it, and then I just never really thought of what I wanted to do with it, and I think it's going to be a little too big for this. So Dollar Tree also has some of those little silver words like welcome, harvest, where you get three of them for a dollar, so you could use something like that. Or, you know, you can also pull like a sign like this one that says harvest blessings. I pulled this sign off of one of the other Dollar Tree signs because they had it had like this raised portion that kind of looks like a ribbon banner and it actually kind of looks metallic but it's it's 
looks like a metallic ribbon, <laughs> if that makes sense. I did use some hot glue and another one of those giant craft sticks from Walmart. I stuck that on the back here just to kind of give it a little extra support, but so cute. I just love how this turned out. Let me know what color you would make the window frame part of this and if it was you, would you add the mirrors back in? I think it would look really great with the mirrors, but I'm also kind of liking it without, if that makes sense. Let me know what are your thoughts. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one now. And this one is a home sign. So I basically just embellished a Dollar Tree sign a while back. Uh, I think I did this one back in the springtime, but I'm going to take it apart. I got suddenly a new idea for this because it looked kind of like spring decor. And I've had this for all summer and I just got an idea to like mix it up and something I wanted to do different now and repurpose this piece from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to pull off those pink flowers and then I'm going to paint the bottom third of the sign with some gold chalk paint. You could actually paint it tan, white, beige, gray, brown. Basically, it's going to be a basket, if that makes sense. So paint it something that could look like it's a basket, <laughs> whatever color you have. I just ordered this gold chalk paint, so I figured this would be a great opportunity to kind of give it a try. Now for the texture on here, I want to give it a little bit of a basket texture. So my thought here was to use some of the rubber non-slip pad from Dollar Tree that you would put under a rug. It's that non-slip rug pad and you can get a whole bunch of that for a dollar in Dollar Tree. I was going to use that and then I had the idea to actually just use this piece of scrap that I have laying around. I had ordered these marble tiles on Amazon and used them to make coasters in the past and I was just thinking, you know what, I could pull this last remaining marble tile off and then use this um, mesh for this basket DIY. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut a piece of this mesh out, but basically you can use any kind of mesh that you want, including that non-slip rug pad from Dollar Tree. I just cut a piece of this to fit where I wanted my basket to be on here. And then in order to keep it down, I actually just used a little bit of masking tape around the top edge and the bottom edge, but really cheap. You could use ribbon if you want to. So now we're going to go ahead and add our flowers. Again, you can always go through the store and pick out a color combination that looks good to you and will fit with your fall decor. But I am using lots of shades of like oranges, light oranges, I guess, kind of lighter orange shades along with some purpley mauves and some creamy beiges. And I think this all looks so pretty together. So kind of a similar color theme to the previous DIY. I'm also gonna start with layering in some leaves here for the base. So these are just some random green leaves. I had these left from another DIY. And then I have also got some of these orange leaves here. So I think these ones are newer this year because they're like a peachy shade and they're just um, these maple leaves with some little pumpkins. So I've got a lot of those leaves to layer in here. And then I'm gonna fill it all the way or the rest of the way up to the top with a combination of flowers. So it's kind of a twist on a fall flower basket. So it's kind of, it looks like a flat wall flower basket that you could kind of hang on a door. You could hang it on the wall. It's taller than a basket would be, I suppose. Um, you could also make your basket portion taller if you want. I, mine is kind of short. <laughs> but anyway, I think this just turned out really cool. It's just kind of a unique twist on the concept of a flower basket slash a fall flower wreath. So anyway, again, whatever colors you like, but I really like how this one turned out.
The next one is actually a really super simple um, twist on these this farm fresh pumpkin sign from Dollar Tree. I decided to go ahead and paint this pumpkin over with my metallic copper chalk paint, the orangey pumpkin. I painted it over and then that middle blue one, the blue doesn't work with my decor. So I decided to actually paint that one with an ivory color. I can't remember. It might have been called sheepskin. I'm not positive i think this was sheepskin i did leave that burgundy one for now i think i'm gonna keep that color just because i do have some shades of purples in my decor so i think i'm gonna keep that one and move on now to the wagon part so i painted the wagon over with some white chalk paint and i did fill in there in between the wheels And the last little bit of white chalk paint, I just kind of dry brushed down the top portion of the pumpkins to give them a little bit more texture. And if you get a little too much paint on there, you can always use your original color, whatever you used, copper or beige or whatever color you used and kind of just touch it up and either add more color or lighten it up more, you know, whatever you need to do. And you can totally customize this. The last thing I wanted to do was add some gold letters on here. Dollar Tree has so many different types of letter stickers, so you can really create any saying or any kind of words for fall, any kind of theme, and just decorate your decor like this. But this would make a really cute wall hanging. You could also hang this in a fall tree. For the next one, I have two glass jars, or they I guess they're candle holders, two glass candle holder jars from Dollar Tree, which I'm gonna give them a coat of the smoky beige Rust-Oleum paint. And once those are dry, I've also got these little black trinket dishes. They're kind of like little ring holder trinket dishes. I found these a little while back in Dollar Tree and thought I want to do something with these, but I have no idea what. So I actually found that these two particular glass candle holders um, work as a base and the two little trinket dishes fit pretty nicely in the top to make a lid. So I'm gonna paint these flower trinket dishes with my metallic copper chalk paint. And once that was dry, I did come back with a little bit more of a really bright metallic bronze copper color to add in the center and just kind of brushed it out like the center of the flower petals. So it just adds like a little bit of shimmer and shine into the center there. So here is how they turned out. They're not exactly fall decor. You can totally use them any time of year and you can totally do this with any colors that will fit with your decor. But the beige and the copper is going to fit beautifully in with my fall decor this year. So that is the colors I chose and I just love how these look. Now for this next one, I debated whether or not to show you guys the first part here because I came up with an idea which was a complete fail, but no worries, we saved the day and it turns out really cute in the end. So I guess I will walk you through the whole thing because why not? So I 
took one of these wooden pumpkins and I just painted that recessed part with the metallic copper chalk paint. I ended up actually trying to use this air dry clay. I got this one in Michaels for the kids and I decided to kind of try using that in the center and this was kind of working out pretty well. I did a layer of the clay in the center here and on these raised portions and then I used the end of a small paintbrush to just drag little bits down and kind of make it look like feathers so that was kind of my idea is to just give it a little bit of texture it almost reminds me of like a feathered texture however it ended up looking really good, but once it dried, it all was crumbling off. Well, not all of it. Some of it actually was stuck on really well, and I had to scrape it off. But the majority of this was actually just crumbling off super easy. So yes, that does not work but I wanted to still use this pumpkin especially because I've already added some berries and pine cones and leaves at the top and it was just too cute so I wanted to do something with it and I had this piece of craft or scrapbook paper it was probably from Hobby Lobby I'm going to guess but really you can get these 12 inch square scrapbooking papers from most any craft store I just took an X-Acto knife and laid it on there and kind of cut out a piece to fit all of the raised edges and I just used a tiny bit of hot glue to stick that down. Any glue would work. I love how this is turning out. I did have to go back with that copper paint and touch up, you know, just some of the parts that had gotten scratched or kind of cut a little bit there. So I touched it up a little bit. And anyway, here is how it turned out. I actually think it looks way better than my original idea did. And I just, I love how this one turned out. The last thing I decided to add is actually I layered on a couple little bows on here just to complete the look and I think it turned out beautifully. The next one is a picture frame and I know picture frames aren't really fall decor but I wanted to dress it up for a fall photo frame so I've printed off some of our fall photos and I wanted to frame them so I have a variety of different ones here and I wanted to try some things with these Dollar Tree frames so I'm taking a five by seven frame here and I, this one's kind of textured I don't think you can see it on the camera very well but it does have cool texture and I used one of these frames actually in my last DIYs video so if you want more picture frame ideas go back and check my last fall DIY decor video there's um, more Dollar Tree fall DIYs in that video and another like fall picture frame DIY idea as well in that video I used just a tiny touch of hot glue to make this stay down in the center. But really what's gonna hold it down are these beaded stickers. So these rhinestone stickers from Dollar Tree, I'm using the rose gold colored ones and just doing those all the way around the edge of my picture. So I have a four by six photo here and I'm just kind of outlining it with these little sticker gems. Now here's where I kind of went wrong. I decided to decorate my frame and what I would recommend that you do is actually push your canvas with your photo on it into the frame and get that attached before you go ahead and decorate this. It just made it too awkward and I actually kind of cracked the edge of the frame. So I was able to repair that with hot glue, but it would have been so much easier to put the canvas with your photo into the frame if the frame was not already decorated. <laughs> Anyway, I just added like leaves, berries, a pumpkin. You can add some bows on here if you want. So many cute little options. I think this is so fun for fall. And lately I have just been really into printing off some of our seasonal photos and putting them up around the house to just kind of enjoy and look back on memories from some of the previous years, stuff that we have done for that holiday or that season. Really fun and a great way to decorate for fall.
thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed these fall Dollar Tree DIY room decor, home decor, wall decor, wreath DIYs. So many fun DIYs for fall. Let me know which one was your favorite. Also, you still have a little bit of time to enter the candle giveaway that I am also doing this month. I'll leave that video down below if you want to go over there and enter for that one. It was in my last fall DIYs video. Thank you so much for being here. If you are still watching, definitely give this video a thumbs up. I hope that you've enjoyed it. And as always, I wish you a beautiful and blessed day and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!